my name is Mohamed Al Hashimi. I'm professor of political science. I am here to take part in the meeting uh, which dealt with the issue of uh, youth activism in the aftermath of the Arab uprising. I think that uh, when it comes to the Moroccan experience, the uh, 20th February movement, which is the Moroccan version of the so-called Arab Spring, uh, has uh, succeeded in overcoming part of its objectives, which is to impose some political and uh, economic reforms, but it, is, it, it seems to have fallen short of changing the nature of the Moroccan regime. And this is what I call uh, a kind of zero-sum game. Uh, I think that the regime and the Moroccan state has succeeded in neutralizing somehow the 25-year movement, but uh, if it doesn't really act on the uh, uh, root causes of the social and economic grievances uh, that are the causes uh, of the emergence of the 25-year movement, it will have to face other uh, uh, movements and maybe more radical movements in the long uh, uh, term. Uh, the uh, most of uh, uh, former members of the 20 February movement are now trying to uh, uh, experience a kind of shift from uh, uh, the old strategy that consisted in uh, demonstrating in the street to a new strategy that consists in uh, trying to work on the uh, possibilities offered by social media uh, to use them as a kind of awareness rising tools in order to change uh, the political culture, the system, the, the, the value system that is prevailing in Morocco now. And they think, based on some interviews I conducted with some of these former members, they think that this is the only way to try to uh, change the balance of power on which the current uh, uh, political uh, structure in Morocco is based uh, right now. Mohamed El Hashimi for the Institute of International Affairs. Thank you very much. You're welcome.